Okay, so you have weak hamstrings. How do you fix it? Well, you could do lunges, you could do all this stuff, but there is one exercise that will isolate the hamstrings and ensure that if you're doing this exercise the right way, the only thing that's being strengthened are your hamstrings, and it's called the hip lift. So you're gonna get in a position just like May's in right here. You're gonna have your heels up on a surface that's fairly firm, so nothing softer than this. So a plush couch, not gonna cut it. So a coffee table, a nice firm chair, that would work really well. The goal here is to have your hips and knees at 90 degrees. If you can't find anything that's perfect, a little lower is better than a little higher. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your toes pointed in the air and your heels are gonna be driving into whatever surface you're on. You're gonna make a fist with your hand. And the goal here is to, you're gonna drive those heels into the surface, thus using your hamstrings and you're gonna raise your hip off the ground just high enough to clear that fist. And then you're gonna come back down. So what it is, it's a five second rep. Two seconds up, so it's gonna be one 1,000, two 1,000, just high enough to clear that fist, three 1,000 at the top, and then four 1,000, five 1,000 on the way back down. So you shouldn't feel this anywhere else. Sometimes people say, oh, I feel it in my calves. If that's the point, be sure you're pointing the toes a little more. Uh, and if you're by yourself, Generally, you're going to have to get closer than you think to whatever surface this is. So, if you're going to do this, you should start with something like a set of 10 and see how you feel. Most people will need to do two sets of 10 twice a day, every, every day for weeks or a month or more. Uh, it's really start to build uh, strength. But eventually, we should all get to the point where we can do single leg versions of this. And this is definitely something that can be very humbling. So. Uh, when scaling up, you should wait a day or two to see if you're going to be sore. So if you jump right into doing single leg versions of these, lots of reps, you could have trouble walking around. And to do a single leg version, what you're going to do is you're going to lift up one of your feet. So it, it's just going to float right there. Um, so it's not going to move. You're not going to move it from momentum, but everything's going to go through the other heel. So you go ahead and do the same exercise, but all of your weight Ah, heels got to stay closer. You're using it for momentum. It just floats right there. Yep. So go on down, come on up. This is what you're going to do. That heel stays right there, floating a couple inches above the table. It's very difficult. Um, but ultimately, if you can do a couple sets of 15 each leg, that means you're probably going to have very ample hamstring strength. Thanks for watching.